Hey everybody, welcome to the Nintendo Power Couple Fundies and our onesies, I'm Danny. And I'm Felia, and today we're playing State of Mind sent to us by Didelic Entertainment. Thank you guys so much. Now we did get to play a little bit of this game back at E3 when we had our own private appointment with the Didelic team, and it was a lot of fun, and we're yeah. really excited to have the full game with us now. Yes, yeah, so what we're about to show you guys, now the main character is Richard Nolan, but there's another protagonist we're gonna be learning about today. So we're gonna jump on in and learn this new story. Okay, so here we are. We are in the virtual reality uh, aspect of the story. This yep. is Adam, our um, our second character that we get to play as. So we just woke up. Um, we just spoke to our doctor, and he was in some sort of car accident, and he doesn't know what happened to his wife and his children, which is kind of the same story how Richard Nolan is. Um, his character started out. So I'm curious how they developed that between yeah. the two. Um, and if you haven't seen our previous video covering um, Richard Nolan's story and a little bit of this at E3, you can check that out. Um, and we did play as him, and now in this video we're going to play as Adam and see what his story, how it develops a little bit. So you could walk around um, just like any regular game, um, but you could walk like they, they kind of have these little markers that tell you what's, you know, what each thing is that you need to go towards and press X to examine, and you can see different objectives to do um there's no map that we have yet um I like <laughs> so we're in this character this is the first time we're playing is this character um and there's mentions of uh this is his son i think his son's room so and you're trying to like figure out what happened yes you so have there's a, a little bit of like um mystery am solving and amnesia a little bit too you like that amnesia that's happening to him was your home change time and space press of a button so we can use, so we could actually, oh, okay. Mm, so we holograms, could what's that about? Change the music to perpetual motion. Light, I like light, light snacks. snacks. Light snacks. <laughs> oh, we could, oh, it's odd. Ambiance, we could change by the sea. I want to turn, I guess you could turn the others off and, huh. I wonder why it's weird, that, that's odd. Like, that like, you have to turn, yeah, you could turn but, things off rather than turning them on. But you can't turn more, more than one thing, so. Uh, let's see, holograms, fish. We'll keep the fish holograms on. Okay. So let's walk around. Let's see what, um, and if you press the ZR button, you can run. I want to see these fish holograms. Yeah, me too. So let's see what's in here. Go send some emails real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget. That's a really good rule of thumb. Yes. That's a really good rule of it's, thumb. Sometimes it's hard to listen to, but it's yes. important that you do. And he's got an award. For 10 years, I was standing work at the present. So we're hmm. learning about who he is. Here's a hollow pin board. Visualize your life. We could use it and let's see what we have. So it looks like it's his, oh. I guess it's his information that's his recovery process. Please don't down. So the doctor had come and visit before. Here's our accident. Um, that was pretty bad. Yeah, that was like a rough accident. So. And as we talked about in our other video, it's what would they say? It's a low polygon is the aesthetic yes. they're going for. So as you see, everything has like really sharp edges and, and, and looks jagged. And even let's see the, the character. Um, you got to stand now. in the light a little bit. Yeah, let me get him to the light. <laughs> you actually see. There you there go. There you go. So they kind of have that like, it looks computerized. But like that's it has, the purpose of it, mm -hmm. which we really absolutely loved because the further away you are from an object, the more realistic it actually will look. Well, look at right now. It looks yeah. a lot better in the shadows. Oops. Which kind of plays go. into the actual story of the game. And, um, oh my God. Oh, oh what is the, that? Oh, John's on the floor. I'm like, I'm like, I'm stepping on something. Something's blocking my walking. Your son is the most important person in your life. Make sure he's always happy and taken care of. John, thank God. Hello, Adam. Did you sleep well? What's that yes. head thing? Henry, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of seeing double. It'll be fine. That, is that the nanny that they said that they, they got that's a nanny? a little freaky. I'm hungry. You're a nanny, but you're not that. I that's not you. That. <laughs> so let's see. What are you drawing? Nothing. Let's see what he's drawing. What is he drawing? Like Caterpillar? Like it's a circle. He's drawing plans like for um, taking over the world. When is Amy coming? Don't Amy. Know. She's working. 
Her project is being shown on Sunday. Hmm. She left a message though. Yeah, I saw it. And there's our oh, floating I little. Who Amy is. What are you I'm running after Same Henry. Uh, the Henry. weird floating Tell head. John's Dear favorite Lord friend. What did he say? And teacher. Ha! Huh. Flint's smart head. So we have these. What are these things? Oh wow! Okay. That's pretty awesome. So you could actually like like open up pictures in a little virtual reality, like. John's birthday. These are nice. Yeah. That's the baby picture. That's a little freaky. That was. That is. Oh, you can actually see like the baby in there. Wow. That's insane. That's a little creepy but cool. <laughs> is their marriage? So, you, so I guess that's their life on the wall. So that's the baby. That's his birthday, and we have his promotion at work, and when he started his YouTube and channel. I <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I like that it looks like in the other one, it looks like he has weights in his hands. Doesn't it look that, like it weights? Does. Like he's lifting weights. <laughs> so what's he's here? Get ripped. So it says an elevator is on its sorry. way. Oh, we're supposed to feed our son. That's <laughs> food assembler. I'm, I'm walking out. I'm like, let's go. Let's go to the streets real <laughs> the quick. The nanny will take care of that. <laughs> the he floating head will take care of it. So the food assembler, choose your breakfast. Print breakfast. Oh my gosh, we're so close to this. It's probably scary. What do you want for breakfast? Um, what's honey milk? That sounds good. Hot chocolate? Oh. Oh. I chose honey milk apparently. We're 3D printing <laughs> food for oh. I mean, hey, that's what the future is. That'd be that's cool. That's like but Star Trek. Yes. So he says your food is coming up. Oh, so and he has some bananas. Okay. That wasn't enough food for him, I guess. We got to get some more food. Well. He needs something to eat, right? Cereal. Cereal. Cornflakes is good. But Adam wait, refused is... to serve John his favorite meal. Oh, we didn't serve. Oh my gosh, you didn't listen to the boy. I <laughs> he wants honey flakes. Same thing over and over. It's gross whoops. in the morning. Oh, whoopsies. Yikes. Eat what I give you, son. <laughs> We're out of honey flakes. Let me see what else I can make him some. Henry's you in made my him life. honey milk and cereal, so kind of yeah. like together, maybe? Do I don't know. Eat? Let's see. Can oh. you craft your own thing? No, not anymore. Why did He's, you listen, Adam's not going to eat. John wants me to sit down because he wants to scold me and tell me what a bad father I am. <laughs> I love I the world. To to the hospital. Like the way it looks? Yeah. This kid is not enjoying breakfast at all. No. It's like, what is this? But I'm fine. You gave him raisin bran. That's all. When all he wanted was some honey corn flakes. Honey corn flakes. Reese's peanut butter puffs. Now, when we were talking with the team about this game, um, they were talking about how this is all based on like actual research and. A look at like was it what did they say like through Google and stuff like how this might be what the where the world is going one yeah. day which is crazy when you see a floating octopus head guy Henry <laughs> which well maybe not that part of it but um, you never the know. whole story is sort of like um, posing the question to the gamer of whether your real life even though it might be imperfect and filled with all sorts of imperfections whether that's better. Or whether choosing a AI fake life that could be made perfect for you. Live um, there. Is it better to live there? It's like a lot of smog. A smog. <laughs> it looks very unhealthy still. Yeah. It's not enough plants. <laughs> what happened to all the plants and animals? So let's see. So what I'm looking at right now, oh, he's running around. Henry? Well, he and didn't God? get the breakfast he wanted, so he's just God. stomping around the house like, ugh. John, we have to Fine, go. Dad. <laughs> Henry's missing. Your jellyfish is here. I can't a jellyfish. Hmm. We can look for the remote. We could tell him to hurry up. I think we're gonna look for the remote because I feel bad for making him a really <laughs> bad breakfast. So I'm not gonna okay. be like, let's go. We're getting in the car. Let's your friend can wait. Who cares about your jellyfish? So we gotta find the remote for his jellyfish. Hmm. On the couch? Yep, that's the one spot you have to always check first, the couch. That's where our uh, jellyfish remote usually is. <laughs> Why do you need a remote for a jellyfish? 
I don't know how I feel about this future. I like the imp more important question. Why do you need a jellyfish? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's that? Hmm. That's a, that was a note from before. Is this... Let's see if the smart loft system is anything for him. No. No. Did he leave it in the bathroom? <laughs> Nice I like that though. there's toilet paper over there. Where? Very realistic. Turn around. Right there. <gasps> that toilet is like hovering. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about <laughs> sitting on that. Let's see. What's in here? Oh, remote control. Remote. In the office. There it is. Got it. All right. Got so at it. least at least Adam did. You know, a good thing being a father. He <laughs> found the controller. Maybe he's redeemed himself. He's like, the, he's like, I can't really cook yeah, good food or, or print good food, but. <laughs> All he had to do was click a button, Adam. <laughs> Amy's room. What was it doing there? You'll have to ask Amy. Oh, there he is. He's back. I guess, I guess we could leave now. Go to the door. Oh, turn around. He was walking ahead a little bit. Um, now, this world is definitely, if you play from the beginning or see any of the footage from the trailers, uh, the world where Richard Nolan, who's a journalist, the world he lives in, is very, like, Blade Runner-esque, dirty, yeah. you know, um, depressing Imperfect. looking. Imperfect, yes. yeah. The world is sort of um, in a downward spiral. Yes. So now we can leave. And this is sort of the perfect... Um, it's supposed to be the perfect world. Yeah. You know, except Which that. Which I, I think I'd rather some more plants and animals, but uh, this is supposed to be <laughs> where there's no disease and Well, no... there's no smog now. It looks good now. <laughs> that was just through the screen. <laughs> See, for me, if it was a perfect world, I'd have the controller always attached to my hand. Like, you, I would never lose a controller. What? You turn it into a cyborg? <laughs> what is going on? are here here in your city it is beautiful Take a look around yeah and enjoy your day they could have planted a couple more trees but it's okay <laughs> the present okay let's walk around and let's explore it's a really unique game because it's i've never really played a game that looked like this before or that kind of played like this. There's yeah. no action. There's no, like, you're not running and gunning, or at least that's what we've seen. You so know, far. It's just exploration, and you're uncovering a uh, story. But as you uncover the story, it does get deeper and darker. Because in the little bit of the preview that we got at E3, you do see there's some action happening, mm -hmm. and you have to Miss. be quick. Yes. Hello, Miss Patrick. Hello, little guy. So we're taking our son out to explore the area, and we're talking to Miss Patrick. Yeah. I think she's talking about our car accident. The vehicle system must have failed. Well, hmm. better not to think about it too much. Good day, Miss Patrick. I like that our butler came with us. Our jellyfish <laughs> butler was like, he's like, I need to get outside too. Um, Gotta get some fresh air. Mm-hmm. So let's take a look at the world real quick. Like, like we have the mountains There's over mountains, there. Yeah. We have that I wonder thing, if eventually cool. you get up on those things, like you could explore stuff like that. I don't know. Excited to see where it goes. There's the Infinity Tower. Or is that where we, that's where we came out of? That's where we came out of. I'm like, ooh, a new place to go. Everywhere but that place. Yes. <laughs> what are those things? Which things? Like movie These? posters? Let's see. Zoolander 12,000. <laughs> I like the art style of the posters, too, actually. Yeah. I like the, oh, they look to change color. They actually change color with as you, you move. as you move around them, yeah. So they even become just like the characters. They become more um, like you see more of the polygon shapes as you move yeah. closer. You should take that's pretty cool. That's true. If you weren't this far back. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Very cool aesthetic. I think they said it was both for the story and it was for like the technical limitations, which is a great thing to see if there are any technical limitations of what you're doing, whether it's a game or an art project or a film to use it. To your advantage. To your advantage. Yeah. Use it in a way where it becomes part of the overall aesthetic and, and not a um, And almost build it obstacle. into the story. Yes. Yeah. Which is what they did, which is fantastic. So I think we have to go over here. So the presence mm. where he works, I believe. 
You have been granted a sick day, Adam. You've been granted a sick day. Oh, he's. Oh, because of the accident. I am like a horrible father in this game because he is like. Take your son to the clinic. It sounds like okay. It sounds like I need to go to the doctor. I'm like I'm. I need to go to work. I need to go. You need to remember that poster we saw earlier. That work isn't everything. Yes. Okay, so here we go. This little tram system. I like how that smoothly transitioned. Yeah, me yeah. too. And there, it's it's it's, it's open for the. Uh... That looks like the train that you get in. Uh, oh. Ooh. Orlando Airport. Oh my gosh. Save your son, dude. Pick him up. He's like just standing there. Oh, you see the stuff's glitching around him too. Oh man. Wow. Yikes, that was a close one. I would get off the glass. Yeah. I would also check to see if your son's okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hmm. He's checking to make sure the tram's okay. <laughs> I think our ride's still here, so that's okay. Wow. Okay? And it's fixed. It's just a geohazard. Yeah. A geohazard. Huh. Are should we be are we worried? A little. A little. Maybe a little. Reassure that we're <laughs> humans as well. I think so. They're getting stronger. Like how everything fixed immediately. Here's our tracer. What is it? No idea. Have you ever seen one before? Hmm. No. What did that man do with it? No idea. Hmm. It's something like a. Yeah, actually, I don't know. <laughs> you should give it I like that. <laughs> I like that he tried to, like, be like, "Oh, this is totally one of those things that you, you, you know, I don't, I don't know what it does." Like, he, <laughs> he tried to have the answer. That that that, that that's pretty cute. <laughs> All right, so the train station. I like that you. I do like that you can examine and like learn about things. So it does tell you with the X button to examine or A uses certain things. It's a really cool way to do it. So it's like you can visually see the little triangles, so you know where your objectives are, which where you can yeah. interact with, and then there's multiple ways to interact with each object. So, so you when don't you, necessarily have to activate it. Yes. No. You could actually just like examine. It's a yeah. little more examine only. It looked like too. So you could just examine and see like what certain things are. And it does give you, I guess, certain things kind of fill you in on the story and the background and That's what you are, the world you're in. So it does create- And the create... character give you like a more full idea of who he is. That's true. Yeah, I like that. And I liked um, the before we, before the, what we're playing now, there was a cut scene that showed when uh, Adam woke up, there was a doctor in his room and the doctor was doing like the, the checkup on him from the accident. But what was interesting was that the doctor was a hologram. Yeah. So like the doctor just pops in, checks on you and leaves and it's all holographic. And that, I thought like, oh, that'd be a pretty convenient thing. Like a home visit where you don't need to actually go to a hospital. You in just, the future, that could the, be a thing. In the future. Come on, like next year, 2020. <laughs> Adam brought to the hospital. So, okay, so we enjoyed the sunny day. So I did something right. I didn't cook him horrible food again. Wait, so did you just leave him at the hospital? No, he's behind me, I think. Oh, oh yeah, oh, he's okay. behind me. Yes, he's... <laughs> For a second, I'm like, where'd he go? Should we control Henry a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Huh. So you get to, like, Fly see what the statue. area is. Can you go um, higher? No, Okay. Let's fly around the statue. Good job, Adam. Square root of 2,401. 49. I'm assuming job. he'll come in handy later on. I'm assuming so. Like to get to places that you can't get to. He's pretty cute. He's pretty cute. He is. He is. <laughs> I made a face. <laughs> He's pretty cute. There's tentacles. I don't know if there's anywhere we're supposed to actually go. Not on that guy. This is what I feel like it's like, like when people fly drones in places, like that they're not like, supposed to be. On. It's like everybody else is just like, ah, oh, it's all right. Good don't morning, pay attention Mr. to Obama. it. Morning, that old guy's like, just trying to feed the ducks or the fishes, Hello, the koi buddy. fishes. Oh, he's one of the. You too, Henry. One of the um, artificial intelligence robots. Hmm. 
which was somebody that you saw um, in Richard Nolan's story. When he woke up from the car accident, he um, one of those was in the house, and he doesn't know who sent it there, why it's there, and that's part of the mystery from his story that we have not yet to uh, figure out. But for Henry, Henry's going to go shopping in the mall, I think. <laughs> I was just about to say, there seems like there's a lot of, like, mystery in this game. And you sort of have... It's a very intellectual game in that way. Yeah. And you're, like, slowly discovering, like, what's going on in this world. Henry's gonna, in both worlds. Henry's just going to relax with them. <laughs> I like that there. Not phased that there's that, this head floating around. That guy knows it's there, but he's like, just don't look up. <laughs> like, if we, he'll go away. I think the lady just rolled her eyes. As <laughs> people of the future, right? I know. Kind of like people of today. <laughs> so if I press B to leave, you're back. We're back here. So let's talk to... Do you want to control Henry? Not, Not now. now. We're already late. So we have to go to the hospital. Do you want to take him to the hospital? Do you want to... Sure. So, ZR is what you use to run. I'm going to just take a stroll with my son. Where is he? Are you coming or what? Yep. No. <laughs> look, there was uh, the fish over there. Chat with this old dude. Oh, yeah. I'll take a look Let's at the fish. Let's see what's a fish. Feed fish. Oh, yeah. Look, I'll feed the fish. fish. Can I feed them? Use your snack. But keep some You're already being a better parent than I was too <laughs> long. I don't know if we're allowed to feed the fish, but we're gonna do it. Circle. It just seems that way. I would like to be a fish for a change. <laughs> Someday it'll be possible. Someday, maybe. For a certain. It's a nice moment. I would have totally fed the fish in real life. <laughs> Animals got to eat too. Yeah. Okay, I'll go in. Is my son jogging with me since I started to jog? Whoop, whoop, that's a wall. <laughs> I like that you come running in like the worried parent. Like your arms are flailing, you come rushing in. I need a doctor! So let's see where you're... Go bother these people that couldn't be bothered with our friend. You should ask them, you should be like, have you guys seen a jellyfish robot? And just see if they lie or not. <laughs> okay, let's check in at the Poké Center. It's very sleek. And you gotta find places that have the little triangles. Yeah. I'm just which kidding. is which is nice though because it's like it's it's he nice. He seems like he knows where he's going. Where's he going? He's being the parent for both of us. He's like, oh. I'll take myself to the doctor and check myself. In. I'll go ask for assistance. Welcome back, Mr. Newman. What can we do for you? Sorry. I'm and there are choices in the game um, that you can make um, in especially in Richard Nolan's story too. Like they ask you questions. Um, after the accident and try to like you give the answers like who like they'll ask you who's this person you could say like it's my wife or it's my daughter like if you don't know what the per like and i guess like based on you have to remember what information they gave you in the beginning if you get the inf uh, um if you get it wrong they probably think the accident affected you so like you're like no that 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 the name is of, of my wife that's my son that's where we were that's where i it worked the year what's going on yeah, yeah. Which I always like in games like that. That kind of have, like, give you questions or make you have to pay attention, too. Hmm. So we just, so I guess we finished his story. For now. This is Richard uh, Nolan waking up. Now, from we, a don't, we don't, or was it from that world we were just in? Oh. Because it was the same exact type of thing where, because um, Richard woke up and his daughter, I mean, his son and his wife are missing and he doesn't know where they are. So. He could have dreamt about a perfect version of himself. Huh. And that's our robot, Simon. It is Hi, Simon. What? How late is it? You slept 2048. You slept 17 hours. Tracy and James should be back any minute now. That you sounds like you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Well, at least help me to clean this place up. You have new cloud messages. Message box. So you can press, I think, the... Um, is it the start button? I mean the plus button? No, maybe not. I forget which button it is for that. Let's see. Bed. What's over here? Oh, you can show the window. Oh, window. So Examine. So that's the world. This is the real world that we're in right now. This is what the future looks like in, in 2048 uh, in Berlin. Which... It looks not so bad right now. Well, that's like 30 years ahead. Roughly, but, what is it? Uh, I can't do math. 
It doesn't look so bad right now, but it does get worse as the game goes on. Yes. Um, am I supposed to clean this up or what? I think Examine, so. Examine, pick up. Okay, I'll, I'll well, clean this up. Cleaner. Is it broken again? Should I clean up? That's the cleaner's job. Where is that damn thing? <laughs> so Richard is not happy that he's oh got to do gosh. manual labor. Just clean it up, dude. Oh, this cleaner, it looks like. Clean, clean bot. bot. Use. The damn it's, it's DJ Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Roomba. God, what's this doing here? I haven't seen this card in years. Hmm. Why did she keep it? Where are they? They should be back by now. Hmm. Mysterious happenings. And there, I like the, the cleaner is working. And that's some of the that's some of the pictures of him and his family. And as you see, it kind of mirrors the world that we were just in. The room yeah. kind of mirrors what we just saw, uh, which, which is what I, makes me think. I like your theory. I really like your theory that maybe it's actually him, or somehow the worlds actually connect. So Jennifer is online. Maybe is it the A button? No, it's not. Some drawings. There's a button I know that you can talk to her. Right column. Well, I'm not doing work right now. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Because he's a journalist, so he would write. There's your nose. I see pin board and stuff. Yeah, you're right. It kind of looks like a mirrored version, right? So I'm wondering if it's the thing where it's like when he sleeps, he's visiting an alt like the virtual reality world, and when he wakes up, he's back in like the really sad, depressing Berlin. We will find out as we play more. Yeah. Do you want to stop now and leave the mystery? In? I think so. I think that's a good point. Okay. Um, so at least we got to see Adam, and we did get to see um, Richard Nolan's yeah. world as well. And as you can see, it does look sort of. Parallel. There are parallels. Yeah, the actually the place does Even look pretty. Even the room, the the design of the space. Yeah. Huh. And the food assembler. <laughs> I think you might be onto something. Okay, so that is State of Mind, brought to us by our friends over the, at Didalic Entertainment. So thank you guys so much. We are so excited to learn more about this world. This one um, is a thinker. Definitely yes. if you're into um, intellectual games or mystery games. And sci-fi stories. Yeah. If you like uh, movies like Blade Runner and stuff like that, this is definitely going to be one you want to check out. Yes. It is not action-packed, as you guys can see. But it, and it's and it's strong. Uh, but it's uh, riveting. Yes, riveting. It, it's also um, a strong story. So that's what drives the, the drives the game forward. And it's rare to see these days. Usually everything yeah. is very action oriented. So so it feels odd at first to play a game where you're just kind of walking around and uncovering the truth and and developing a story on your own based yeah. on what you're interacting with and what you're. And as you will see with the um, with the actual graphics, it doesn't necessarily put uh, emphasis on the graphics having to be amazing, but rather than the story and how the graphics and the art design sort of plays into the story, which I love. Yeah, I love the way it looks. I love that. I think I think he said it was low poly visual was was the was the phrase they the used. The term. Yes, and oh. I, I like the way that looks. So it's really clever the way that it looks up close very polygon-like and far away it looks a little more smoother and stuff yeah. and that's supposed to play into the game a little bit too i'm so. excited to see where the story goes yeah so you guys can uh it's on the nintendo eShop now i think there's a physical version but not in the u.s so certain only certain countries have gotten a physical version but digitally go download it now and let us know what you think below if these are your types of games if you like sci-fi games and story driven games let us know for sure and if you have any questions and um you want to ask us in the comments maybe we'll be able to answer them for you too yes so guys remember as always gaming is better together so until next time thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching. Hey, so if you liked that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Nintendo Power Couple YouTube channel, and follow us on social media. And if you want to support our channel, be sure to check out our Patreon or grab yourself some NPC merch. So remember guys, gaming is always better together, so until next time, thanks, thanks for watching! watching.